Big congrats to Hudson Swafford, the former Georgia Bulldog, notching his first career PGA Tour victory and his 93rd start at the Career Builder Challenge. A quote, dream come true for the 29-year-old. That wasn't the only special moment this week at the Career Builder Challenge, though, because the tournament also gave us our second 59 in as many weeks. Sorry, Justin, you were only Mr. 59 for a week. But at least he will be cemented in the history books forever, and it looks like his dad's ball collection as well. Pretty neat, Thomas's dad has kept all his son's winning balls, dating back to his first win in 2001 in a 12 and under tournament. Being the last to break 60 was taken from him pretty quickly, though. For the latest 59, continued a 59 trend. Canadian Adam Hadwin took the desert by storm on Saturday at the Career Builder Challenge, becoming the eighth player in PGA Tour history to join the Sub-60 Club, the fourth ever to shoot a 59 on a par 72 course. The 29-year-old also tied Chip Beck's record for most birdies in a round at 13. And would you look at that, Mr. 59 Chip Beck himself even congratulated Hadwin. And we can't already forget about JT. He gave his fellow 2017 59 club member a shout out on Twitter as well. And if you look closer, Thomas responds to Hadwin's tweet he sent earlier in the week that read, quote, Starting the year on a high note, first flight is delayed, can only go up from here. Uh, yeah, I'd say it did. Someone else is weak that can only go up from here, Gonzalo Fernandez Castaños. Fernandez Castaño, just about belt high, he's got the pants off in his skitties. Uh, yeah, not exactly how you'd want to be seen on national television, but it was all in good fun and Castaño was a great sport about it. Heck, he even learned a little lesson from the whole thing. Just one more reason to always wear clean underwear, as if we needed another one. But his clothes, or lack thereof, weren't the main attraction this week. What do Phil Mickelson and Michael Jordan have in common? Apparently, a lot. From, let's face it, their pure athletic ability to now their brand. Lefty debuted his new logo this week, paying homage to his 2004 Masters win celebration. And everybody was talking about it. So we thought it'd be interesting to compare athletic ability of your logo to the famous Jumpman logo of Michael Jordan. Was they look the same amount off the ground on these views. <laughs> okay, whatever you guys say, but it must be catching on because even Danny Lee is already following the trend. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a wait, minute. Was that the Phil jump? I think it was. I think he's doing the, uh, that was he's his doing own, the Phil. Yeah. Phil's back, and yep, you know who else is back this week. Does it get any better than when both Phil and Tiger are in the field? That's even better than cupcakes. Who gets four and a half million likes on one tweet? Tiger Woods, that's who. He tweeted a countdown to his 2017 return, and you could say people were starting to get pumped. He also gave a birthday shout out to a fellow golf great. Jack Nicholas turned 77 Saturday, and when you're a living legend and you're 77, you get to conduct your own birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. With Tiger making his first official PGA Tour start in 19 months, we will have plenty in store this week at the Farmers Insurance Open. I'm heading west to Torrey Pines, so make sure and follow along on social media. And of course, I'll have a takeaway for you starting on Thursday. Have a great week and see you from San Diego.